Hi, my name is Jeff Harlow. I'm a second year botany and plant science student in Dr. Zenbao Yang's lab at UC Riverside. We study the molecular basis of cell polarity in plants, primarily in the model organism Arabidopsis thaliana. Leaves are the fundamental basis for human survival on Earth. They require an intricate pattern of interlocking cells, so-called pavement cells, on their epidermal surface layer to maintain structural integrity and tensile strength. All plant structures can actually be derived from leaves under the appropriate hormonal and transcription factor conditions. Breakthroughs in the signaling network regulating leaf cell polarity and development will lead science into the frontier of genetically modifying leaves to dramatically increase Earth's plant biomass. The impending food shortages in the 21st century will be well served by such research. Specifically, we are studying pavement cells to uncover the molecular origins of cell polarity. The lobes and indentations of pavement cells are formed under the guidance of ROP signaling. Through coordination of microtubule ordering, actin polymerization, and a series of downstream cellular events, the unique jigsaw-like structure of pavement cells is developed. Using a chemical to mutate plant DNA, we discovered a gene which shockingly causes the internal skeleton of leaf cells to become extremely well-ordered and parallel. To visualize this, the microtubules in our leaf cells were labeled with green fluorescent protein, a glowing protein first discovered in jellyfish. It was also noted that cells became more circular, encompassed laterally by smaller lobes and indentations. I'm Albert Cruz, a fifth-year electrical engineer in Dr. Beer Banu's lab. There are two major technical challenges. The first is a large volume of data. Previously, these videos would be analyzed tediously by hand. It would take as long as five minutes to analyze each cell. Given 20 cells in the frame, if we had 200 frames in a video, it would take 14 days of work time to quantify the data. Our software analysis takes seconds, saving time, money, and eliminating subjectivity. The second major challenge is quantification of microtubule orientations. A state-of-the-art approach uses Gabor filters to capture edges and orientations. But as you can see here, it fails badly. Many edges are falsely detected as microtubules. With our approach, background texture is extracted with the non-classical receptive field. The false alarm rate of the microtubules is reduced by a factor of 2.14. In conclusion, our software has revealed new parameters with which to quantify the physiological significance of mutations on cell polarity in plants. Novel advances in the measurement of microtubule ordering are one example of this. Most importantly, our automation has saved thousands of hours and dramatically increased the objectivity of pavement cell quantification methods.